I feel like a little kid in a big toy truck. It's just, it, it's so fun. Guys, I can't get over it. Like, I want to buy this. I really do. The Gladiator name is actually not new to Jeep. From 1962 to 1988, there was a Jeep Gladiator pickup in numerous varieties. Let's see how the heritage has continued. All right, guys, we have been waiting for this thing for so long. Everybody, this is a highly anticipated Jeep right here. This is the all new Gladiator, the truck Jeep, the Jeep truck. That's actually what the most common Google search is right now when you even look up Jeep, the Jeep truck. This right here, our example today, is the all-new launch edition, one of 4,190. This is it. So guys, as a previous Jeep Unlimited owner, a Wrangler owner, I want to know what the difference is between the Wrangler and the Gladiator. It starts right at the very front. Each of the signature seven slots are actually a little bit wider than what you're gonna find on the Wrangler. The reason for that, guys, is because in the back here, we have that 7,500 pound towing capacity. We can also fit 1,600 pounds of payload in the five foot bed, right? Guys, everything else changes after this point. The JL Wrangler, the current day Wrangler, shares the exact same doors with the JT, the Gladiator, abbreviated JT, code name, right here, right? Exact same doors as the Wrangler. From here back, this is where the party starts, right? So, we are just under three feet longer than the Wrangler. So, uh, my approximate measurement is your Wrangler Unlimited is gonna end right here. So that is your extra length in the Gladiator. Guys, they also move the wheelbase back approximately seven inches. So take that in mind what that's gonna do for your off-road trailing, right? So as we're just looking at this thing, we're gonna look at some really cool features that it has really quick. We have our trail ready camera right here, right up there under our mirror. We have the camera for our driver assistance, brake assistance, adaptive cruise, cruise control, that sort of thing. We have beautiful HID headlights that are up here, uh, red tow hooks, a uh, wench ready bumper. These wings on this front bumper actually come off for more ground and tire clearance. We have some sweet Fox shocks in there because this is the Rubicon model. There's vents all over this thing that look pretty sweet. We have red outlinings on the wording, which also look very nice as well. As we move along to the side of the Jeep, there's nothing too different about the side. Back here, you have another Fox shock. We do have the Jeep logo on all the tires and around the interior as well to let you know you're really part of a brand, which is something cool that they have. On the side here, we have the starting of this beautiful taillight. Very well done taillights. I really like these things. These do look great. I don't know how well those look on camera. They do look good. The uh, back of camera is a little bit in the way. I do wish they could have moved that maybe up here where you open the bed at. But the Jeep logo looks really cool as well with the red outline things and also the red tow hooks again. So if you are new to Jeep, if you've never driven a Jeep and you're in the market for a mid-sized truck, you have to know going into it, it's a rough ride. That's part of the game, that's part of the gig, and it's fun, but it is a rough ride. Guys, that is because it has a solid axle front and rear, right? So you're not going to have different arms or independent suspensions like some of the other competition. That axle goes all the way across. That's a solid axle. So you feel some, you hit something on this side, you're feeling it on the other side. You feel the bumps in the road. The whole body movement goes with where you're hitting bumps and dips in the road. It's not a smooth ride, so don't be expecting that at all. 
So the Gladiator does have bigger brakes in the back. I can only imagine this is going to be very popular uh, for current Wrangler owners or past Wrangler owners to get a hold of these brakes and put them on. Obviously with the additional weight and trailering uh, capabilities, you need to have larger brakes. Now I did learn when we had our Wrangler that the back brakes went out at like, uh, I think it was like 25,000 miles with having a little beefier tire. Speaking of tires, guys, come back here quick. Where's the rear tire, right? It's a truck, so we have to put it underneath. We got that rear tire down there, or a spare tire. Guys, the new Gladiator does have just a nice five foot bed, the soft open tailgate. Pretty slick, isn't it? That's right, this is the new part of the Jeep Gladiator. There is a bed now, and is it really functional? Yeah, it is. For an example of how above and beyond this Jeep Launch Edition goes into options, this isn't even a part of the Launch Edition, but this here is a $500 option above that Launch Edition. Just for all the real Jeep fans out there, it would not be a proper video without a look on the underside, right? Guys, these are fun because a lot of us can work on these. It's still a vehicle that we're comfortable to work on. Obviously, the aftermarket will be massive, just as it is for the Wrangler. So the interior of the Jeep Gladiator Launch Edition, this thing is completely decked out in the $62,000 price tag really reflects on that, which is uh, quite a bit of money for a Jeep. But it's really nice in here. We have nice, beautiful stitching around the steering wheel, a very nice stitching across the entire dash as well, as you can see here. We have some here right in front of that airbag and this nice 8.4 inch Uconnect display with these off-road pages that Jeep offers, which are very cool. It replaces the performance pages for the SRT lineup. And I have to admit, for off-roading, these things would be extremely, extremely helpful. Seriously, guys, this thing shows everything. It's really cool what these things can show. This is amazing off-road performance for a stock vehicle. Now we're gonna move down a little bit here and just get your standard Jeep stuff. And of course, since this is the Rubicon, we have the sway bar disconnect. I absolutely love the new look of the Gladiator and the Wrangler, the center console, the infotainment center. I mean, the seats are more or less the same seats, obviously in this launch edition, they're all dolled up. And a little key holder in between the two cup holders. For storage, it is the same as the Wrangler, of course. Lots of storage in here. And it is a nice place to be. Guys, I am a big fan of everything Jeep does to just let you know you're part of it. You're part of the club, right? And let's take a peek at that again. Upon startup, it tells you over here since 1941, check out the cool Jeep that comes up in the center there. I mean, everywhere you look, it's Jeep related on top of the shift knob, in the windshield. Guys, there's just... Uh, reminder after reminder that you're part of history, that you're part of a club, that this is a fun thing, a fun club, a fun vehicle to have. It's more than a vehicle, it becomes a lifestyle. So guys, with the Jeep, there's a Jeep wave. Now that we have a Gladiator, do you still wave to other Wranglers or do you not? I don't know. Alright guys, six feet tall, 220, sitting in the driver's seat good comfortable sitting position i'm a fan of it the seats do lack a little bit of like bolstering but luckily we have that down here to crank up right so in their natural form they're lacking that but we do have bolstering adjustments now also the recline option guys everything else is manual with the seats right so it's sitting in here, it's comfortable, has a good ride height, good visibility, 360 around me. Let's see what the back seat's like quick. At six feet tall, comfortable in the front seat. I can climb in back here, perfectly fine. More than enough leg room, good sitting position. Four adults easily fit in a Gladiator. Guys, these cameras are just such a cool feature for a trail rig, right? So you got the front one that you can even clean. Check it out.
guys, we are really familiar with the Jeep brand. We actually used to own a Wrangler, a 2013. We put about 60,000 trouble-free miles on it. Uh, we took it off-road. Uh, we put the lift kit on ourselves. We had 33-inch tires, about a two and a half inch lift on it. And guys, I gotta say, my first impressions of this Gladiator, man, I just, I feel like I did the first time I, I drove the Wrangler before we bought it. I feel like a little kid in a big toy truck. It's just, it, it's so fun. It, it's just an exhilarating. The, the big hood scoops I have, seeing the big bulges of the tires, just the whole new layout. I love the new layout. But guys, this is super fun. In the Gladiator, currently, the only engine option that is available is that 3.6 liter Pinstar, kind of the Mopar flagship motor. Uh, we had it in our 2013 Wrangler, and it's, it's a proven good motor. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I, I've read articles and heard rumors that the diesel motor will be offered uh, in the Gladiator in the coming year or two. Uh, guys, this has a $62,000 price tag on it. Remember, this is the launch edition, the cream of the crop. Like, you can't get anything more expensive than this. <laughs> That's a hard pill to swallow, is it not? Regardless if there's a truck bed on or not. If I'm in the market, I, I bought a Wrangler before and I, I'll probably do it again. We'll probably own another one. But $62,000, guys. Holy crap, that is a lot of money. So guys, I have to say, uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this Gladiator. I'm a huge fan of Wranglers as well. Uh, I do love the fact that they're introducing this truck. I think it's going to be uh, very popular in that mid-sized truck segment. As you can see, it's bouncing around just <laughs> just driving down normal roads. It's it's just a big toy. So if that's something that's not for you, this this uh, the Jeep Wrangler or Gladiator is definitely not for you either then. But guys, I, I'm a huge fan. The quality of it for being a Jeep, remember, our roof comes off. Uh, this material has to be good to be baked in the sun. They want it to be able to get wet. So all of this material is very nice, very well done, taking that stuff into consideration. Thanks so much, Fury Motors. Guys, if you're in the market for a new or used car, check them out. It doesn't matter if you live locally here in Minneapolis or somewhere else. They will find a way to help you and to get you into a vehicle that's right for you. If it's not a new Mopar or Jeep product, they have three locations that support those brands. Still feel free to reach out to them and they can seek out that vehicle you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Guys, subscribe, like, check out our other videos, comment what you think about the Gladiator if you are a fan or not.